Welcome, welcome. Wow, okay. There are a lot of people on today. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, Funker. How are you? It's been a hot minute. I am just going to kind of chat and hang out while I get ready for the day, so it'll be fun. I've been doing okay. I mean, quarantine's quarantine, you know? <laughs> Glad you've been okay, though. Have fun putting more paint on. I intend to. It'll be a really good time. Uh, hello, dark lady. I hope you're having a good day. Um, hello, CJ. I hope you're having a good day, too. What is what? <laughs> um, what's up? Not very much. Um, getting ready for the day um, and figured I would pop in. Which, by the way, if you guys haven't seen, Dark Lady has an awesome uh, Emma Frost. I'm constantly fangirling over it, so. <laughs> she popped in chat, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, this is so far so good. God, I love your hair. It's so pretty. Thank you so much. Um, it's very wet still. <laughs> but, thank you. Uh, oh, babe, I cry. I love you. Eugene and Emma give me life. My god. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your cosplays give me life as well. I haven't played WoW in a couple years, so seeing a bunch of WoW stuff makes me so happy. Um, it makes me miss playing <laughs> quite a bit. Especially my waifu, Sylvanas. Um, what has two butts but kills an assassin? <laughs> I like that. Um, getting ready for the day at 1.30. Um, LOL. Makeup is sorcery, but cool sorcery. Yeah, I... I had a slow start, but I'm mostly just filming stuff today, so I'm kind of on my own schedule, but I really do want to get a lot done. I don't like streaming too early, though, either. Um, TBH, all your costumes give me life. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and if you ever want to play again, hit me up. I might at some point. Um, I just haven't had a regular enough schedule to justify the 15 a month or whatever. Um, but maybe for the next expansion, I'll do it so I can have a level boosted character and not have to grind too much through. Because the last one I played was Legion, so I'm kind of behind now. I don't fully know what I'm going to do yet today. There's a couple videos I want to make, but I also stocked up on so much Mira stuff. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to get into today. How long do you think it'll be before Marvel starts doing digital releases for comics during the outbreak? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping they don't because that's really going to kill the comic market when things open back up. Um, because the second they release it digital, it's going to be all over the internet pirated, you know what I mean? For however many you're gonna sell, you're also losing that money because it's gonna go digital, you know? Uh, yo, hope you're doing great. I got the Cyclops Funko Pop. Yes, you got it! That's awesome! The whole industry seems like it's on edge right now. It very much so is. Um, it's a little stressful for sure. Um, The industry is so based on its release times and being up to date that it's really going to be impacted by this and it's going to be really interesting kind of to see the bounce back and what's going to come out with this. Like, are they going to go digital? Are they going to try and work something out? Um, I've seen a few places try and a few places like threaten to release digital because at least a couple weeks are out and available on digital. but. You probably end up getting sued by like Marvel if you did that, so really it's not worth it. Guess we'll have to wait and see, yeah. Um, top five mutants. Um, Cyclops, Magic. 
Jean and La Mystique. Okay. Sad Comic Hub plan didn't go through. The issue with the Comic Hub plan is that they didn't have sanction from the publishers. Um, but it didn't seem like a good plan. Like, here's digital in exchange for, like, a physical one later. But at the same time, like I said, um, once you release it digital, like... You're already going to be losing a lot of sales since physical isn't there, but as soon as it goes digital, it's going to be pirated all over the internet. So that way, when it does come out physical, there's going to be no demand for it. Um, and I think that's largely why like DC and Marvel didn't agree to it. What's up? Um, what are you cosplaying? Uh, I'm not getting into cosplay, I'm just getting ready for the day. So it's going to be a little bit different, a little less extreme. Um, Still gonna do kind of a heavy contour because I'm getting into, um, I guess, filming makeup so I can make a couple YouTube videos today, so. But yeah, no, I'm kind of bummed too. I was hoping Comics Hub was onto something. Hello! <laughs> getting ready to chill with the cats. Yes. I think both my cats are asleep right now. <laughs> Who are probably indifferent to you with or without makeup, or do they even notice? I think sometimes they get scared. <laughs> um, at least one of them, sometimes when I have like a full face of like crazy, crazy makeup, they kind of just stare at me like I'm a crazy person, so. Uh, fave superhero, overall or, ooh, that's tricky, like overall, overall. Well, most of the DC characters I like are like anti-heroes to villains, so probably still Cyclops, if it's a superhero. Emma Frost must be proper intimidating. Yeah, that's scary. Um, Batwoman was a bad time for them as well. <laughs> Things like Mira and Jean, like, they don't notice. Lobo is a saint, lol. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> no, DC, I tend to like characters like, um... The Question, and The Riddler, and Poison Ivy, and Huntress, and Black Canary. Which I guess Black Canary is more of a hero, but most of them are a little more morally gray, and that's why they're interesting to me. Situational heroes, situational bad guys. Um, or just quirky, generally. I don't think I have seen that YouTube video. Um says, have you ever watched the YouTube video where uh, an owner chases their cat with a dinosaur suit? I don't think I have. I saw one yesterday where someone got one of those dinosaur masks and put it on their dog, though. <laughs> and when it, like, opened its mouth to try and bark, the eyes lit up and it made that, like, dinosaur grow. I've lost my mind. It was actually really funny. <laughs> Gotta hide those quarantine eye bags, you know what I mean? The question, hell yeah, is if you aren't cool enough already. Listen, I love the question too much. Too much do I love this man. I wish they would do more with him. Um, I've also compulsively researched and there's like almost no merch of him and it makes me really disappointed. Um, DC has been putting out a three-part book though, if you haven't seen it. It's a black label book um, and it's called The Many Question, The Many Deaths of Vic Sage. I'm waiting for the last one to come out and just gonna buy it as a hardcover because it's a three-parter. But, um, it looks really good, pretty much, like, he's going through time, and there's one that's, like, Wild West, and one's, like, 1940s noir. Um, but I'm just, I'm trying to be patient and wait till it's all out before I read it, but it looks really good. How about Rorschach? I'm actually, unpopularly, not super into Watchmen. I've tried picking it up a couple times, but I can't really get into it, um... I'm probably going to try and give it another shot now, because last time I tried reading it, I was in high school, and I just couldn't get into it, but I'm not a huge Rorschach fan. Rorschach's kind of like, if you took the positive traits of 
with a question and meshed it with the negative traits of Batman. I don't know. Do you like Mortal Kombat? I am not super into fighting games, so I'll like casually play them if my friends are, but not really, no. I got really burnt out on fighting games. Okay, I think we have enough foundation caked on my face. If I put any more, I might explode. I'm telling you though, the amount of times I've put on makeup during this quarantine is more than I think I've put on makeup in a long time, and I can honestly see myself improving, so if there's anything that comes good out of this for me, it's probably gonna be getting a regular schedule for streaming, somewhat, uh, and improved makeup skills. Putting points into that skill tree lately. Uh, you like Batgirl. I do really like Batgirl. Um, I haven't cosplayed her yet because there hasn't been a suit that I've really been dying to make. There's a couple I really like. And I'll probably end up doing one in the near future. Okay, not really sure why. I have like an eyeliner smudge all the way down my face. Hold on. Um, but I do really like Batgirl. I think she's a good archetype, especially like the new 52 run was kind of like Spider-Gwen before Spider-Gwen happened, where she's like on the run from Commissioner. I don't know. It was really good. I liked the new 52 run before they switched it to Burnside, but I know a lot of people don't. Uh, I like Batman. Cool. I'm glad you like Batman. Favorite band. My favorite band is Death Cab for Cutie. Um, and it's been really cool. They've been doing live streams like every day. Well, at least the main singer has, so... I've gotten to indulge quite a bit in their music lately. So I'm just gonna go in and contour. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay. Yikes. Blend that out. Do you think Robert Pattinson will be a good Batman? I think he has the potential to be a really good Batman. It's really- what it's gonna come down to is, I feel like, largely stylistic choices because DC doesn't always make the best stylistic choices and people tend to, you know, it, it, it's really hard to get into a film that's stylistic choices are laughable, i.e. a lot of Suicide Squad for me was just really hard to get into because I didn't mesh with what they were putting out. Um, but it still was an okay movie to watch. It wasn't great. So I feel like it's gonna come down to stylistic choices and honestly the writers and how they portray him because I think Robert Pattinson's a good actor, but I don't know if the writers are gonna have a grip on Bruce or Batman because I feel like we've seen good and bad writing coming from that direction lately. I haven't seen a lot of DC movies though because the last couple I've seen I haven't been super in love with. Martha choices? Oh, I don't know. I kind of hope they don't show Martha or, um, wow, I entirely forget his dad's name. I, I really kind of hope we don't have to see the Pearl scene for the a millionth time. Maybe they can do that in the sequel if they so feel like it, but I'm really tired of seeing that and Uncle Ben die in every single film, you know what I mean? Like, we get his origin, let's just, let's just enjoy him as a character. We don't need to see his origin every single time there's a new cast. I'm also not a huge fan of origin stories, though. They tend to bore me, generally speaking, because people can look that up in their own time. Just give us a good story about the character. But, you know. Were you working on a cosplay of Becky Lynch a while ago? I was, and I still am. <laughs> it's actually really hard. Um, a lot of the details are taking way longer than I thought they would, and it's a lot of hand sewing. So I've kind of put it on pause, and I keep telling myself I need to go back and work on it, but I've just been really procrastinating it, so. At some point, um, at some point I probably will have a Becky Lynch costume, it's just a matter of when I'm gonna get off my ass about it and hand stud the whole thing, so. Just coming back from the Honest trailer for Harley Quinn, and I gotta let this out, Huntress is gorgeous. I love, um, Mary Elizabeth Winstead a lot. 
Um, I still haven't seen the Harley Quinn movie, but she's the part I'm looking most forward to when I do get to see it. I have not seen the Teen Titans Go version of the Pearl scene. Is it good? I'll have to watch that at some point. I haven't seen much of Teen Titans Go actually at all. I've heard it's actually gotten better the more self-referential it's gotten. And I heard they introduced cool characters like um, Rose Wilson and stuff into it, so that's kind of neat. For the X-Men MC reboot, who would you like to see play Scott and Emma? Well, in my opinion, no one's ever going to top playing Scott. Um, as much as James Marsden. James Marsden was perfect. I mean, like, mid-2000s X-Men artists referenced him almost as much as Marvel artists referenced Downey Jr. for Iron Man now. So to me, like, that was the perfect casting. So it's really hard for me to think of anyone else really taking on the mantle. I've seen a couple, like, fan casts that are kind of interesting. Um, I know a fan favorite is Jensen Ackles, but I feel like at that point, he's, like, almost the same age as James Marsden, so just use James Marsden. Um, that's a really tough question. Um, as far as Emma Frost goes, honestly, um, I've seen some really good art of Sophie Turner as Emma. I've seen really good art as Margot Robbie as Emma. I've seen really good art as, uh, or of Natalie Dormer as Emma. Um... I'm not really one to fan cast, but I think all of those women would do a really good job. Just like ironically, I think Jessica Chastain would make a really good Jean Grey. Just swap <laughs> X-Men films. She even has turned down MC roles in the past because she wanted to be like an actual hero. And then she took the job in Dark Phoenix, so that's kind of a bummer. Hopefully they bring her back for something in the MCU. I do hope they cast someone kind of short and unconventional as Wolverine, because I think that's kind of part of the charm of this character, is that he's not some just giant hunky bad boy. This is a lot in spite of the disservice they did Cyclops. It's true, like honestly, the scripting is what really messed up Cyclops in those early films, because James Marsden physically perfect like the visor looked great on him his hair was great everything was great the glasses were great his demeanor was great but they just the scripting really did him a disservice in the original trilogy absolutely and i thought ty sheridan did an okay job i just he, he was very young to play cyclops and that worked in um apocalypse but then when they were supposed to be older it just i didn't feel it as much but i didn't really feel the time skip much at all because it really didn't feel like any of them were the age they were supposed to be in Dark Phoenix, so I think they just shouldn't have done the sliding time scale on that in general. You like Rogue? <coughs> Rogue is a really interesting character. Um, I do really enjoy her. Um, some iterations more than others. I don't really like when they play her as a flippant Rogue. Um, really, like, once she joins the X-Men, she's not, she's not like a Mystique or an Emma that's ambiguous. She pretty much kind of stays there. Um, so I don't really like runs that treat her like she's wishy-washy, mostly looking at the cartoons for that. Um, but I find her to be a very interesting character and I love her dynamic with Gambit, especially, you know, at the beginning when they were really back and forth with it. Um, I think she's really interesting and her origins are really interesting and overall her power set is one of the more interesting things that Marvel has done. It's like, it's an interesting non-overpowered way to be Hope Summers. I really wish Marvel put more effort into the animated stuff like DC. Most of my friends fell in love with the X-Men through the animated series. I kind of do too. Like, they could be putting out 
a bunch of like X-Men animated films instead of ever doing live action X-Men and frankly I would be quelmed with that. Like put out animated films, I would be happy and fine with that. I think the format of animated stuff works better for X-Men personally because of the power sets and because how like inhuman a lot of the things are and how campy some of the things are. So I would really love if they if they would do that. If Disney makes justice to X-Men movies, we deserve. Yeah, I do too. I think all of us are kind of holding our breaths at this point. Because everyone has been saying, you know, like, well, when Disney gets X-Men, when Disney gets X-Men, now that they have it, I think we're all just holding our breaths to see what they do and hoping for the best. They keep talking about rebooting the animated series for X-Men. And I'm really nervous about that because I don't want them just to continue that show. Like, that show had its moment, you know what I mean? I hope they just come out with a new, like, I don't even care if they call it X-Men the Animated Series, but give us something new. Don't make it feel like it's just a continuation. It can be in the same canon, but I mean, X-Men Animated Series is all but maybe two differences away from being 616. So just give us, like, a new X-Men show. Don't ride the coattails of a show that came out, like, decades ago at this point. Because I feel like it's just going to be trying to play on nostalgia more than giving us a good story at that point. But I still really want an animated series and I still really want new X-Men cartoons. Just boxing in these eyebrows so they're not a total mess. I know people are gonna be like, concealer brows aren't a thing anymore, like, they don't look good, but I'm not good. Reguste mas mutantes means they're like mutants. That's cool, I didn't know that. Um. I'm not good at eyebrows though, so we're gonna just try our best. Thoughts on Secret Empire. Is that- are you talking about Empire like the one that's yet to come out, or Secret Empire- has there been one in the past? I don't read a lot of big Marvel events, honestly, um, and I got into comics kind of late. And then went back and read a bunch of old stuff, so I'm missing, like, formatively all of the 2000s. Um, because I didn't really get into regularly reading until, like, 2017. Vaguely, I know Secret Empire, because that's when I first started working in a comic shop in high school. Um, but I mostly read DC at the time. So yeah, Captain Hydra is about the only thing I remember. Uh... It's after Wanda's House of M and highlighted characters like Exile. Yeah, no, that's that's when that's around the era in which I first started getting into comics. And at the time, I mostly read DC stuff. So I kind of know what happened in that era, but it's something I haven't gone back and uh, thoroughly read yet. So I don't super have an opinion other than that era's Moon Knight was really good. I did read that. Um, but I remember Captain Hydra, everyone was super pissed about that. Cool. Have you ever been part of a cosplay, X-Men cosplay meetup? Yes. Um, I usually only do meetups at bigger cons, uh, smaller cons. I just usually don't. Um, cause I like to go and just see people's costumes a lot of times and smaller cons. Usually I pretty much know most of the people who are going to be there already. Um, Uh, and group shoot photos I usually don't use for myself. I just, I like to be a part of the big groups. Um, so Dragon Con I go every year, and then this past Katsu Con I went to that X-Men meetup as well. But Dragon Con, every year that I've been, I've gone to the X-Men shoot, and it's always a huge blast. I love seeing everyone. I like seeing all the unique costumes and overall just, like, what everyone brings. Because sometimes there's characters that you almost forget about and then see someone cosplay and you're like, that's so cool. Or, like, mashup costumes and stuff like that. Have you seen any Marvel animated series and what is your favorite? Um, so I've seen all the X-Men cartoons. Uh, I started 
one of the Avengers cartoons and it's okay. Um, I haven't really seen any of the Fantastic Four ones except Silver Surfer and boy do I have. Boy. That was a ride. Um, I want to go back and watch Spider-Man and his amazing friends at some point. Um, I'd say my favorites so far are still the X-Men ones. Probably, like, it, each one's good for its own reason. Like, X-Men the Animated Series is not only nostalgic, but the most canon. Then you have Wolverine the X-Men, which is the best at creative, original, concise storytelling. It has an arc and it ends. Um, and then you have X-Men Evolution, which does a really good job building up, like, kind of a... A slow plot and really bringing a lot of things to fruition and giving really satisfying like character development. Most hated emoji. I'm gonna have to say probably the drooly face or the eggplant. I see them too often and I don't like it. But probably the drooly face. I just don't like the drooly face. Favorite property other than X-Men in the question? Uh, comics or other fandoms? Comics. Um, probably Marvel's 1602 or Birds of Prey as far as like other titles I actively sought out. 1602 is all over, but it was really, really, really good when it was out. Um, Birds of Prey is a team I almost always pick up when I see... Um, I really like the New 52 run with Poison Ivy in it, which, again, not a whole lot of uh, New 52 was great, but I thought that was. Um, I haven't read Hellions yet, and I'm trying to think, like, other properties. I really like Monstrous. It's an independent book. Um, let's see. The Spider-Man Noir book is really good. I'm really into the Amazing Mary Jane run as well right now. Um, as well as Wonder Woman occasionally. Birds of Prey I really like, though, because it has all my girls. It sometimes has um, the sirens in it, like the sirens, and it usually has Batgirl and Black Canary and Huntress, and really those are my three DC girls, so. I hope when this is all over, I can get an X-Men type group together. That would be awesome. Um, someone asked earlier if I go to X-Men meetups, and honestly, X-Men meetups are so fun. If you go to Dragon, you will have no problem making an X-Men group. Noir has got to be one of my favorite Spider-Man books. I love the fact that you're pulling out these kind of obscure titles instead of big names like most people would. I I don't honestly like a lot of superhero books. <laughs> as bad as that sounds with what I cosplay, um, I like ones that are more interesting and kind of challenge, you know, what makes them an interesting book. Um, but that's also because, like, my favorite genre is fantasy, so I kind of like more of the weird superhero books that feel more like fantasy books, I guess. Like, I've never been like a Superman fan, or necessarily a Batman fan, um, aside from the rogues gallery. Uh, Spider-Man Noir just restarted, by the way, too. Um, it's really interesting so far. It kind of feels like um, Indiana Jones mixed with a noir film, and, like, MJ is in it, uh, as, like, kind of a Peggy Carter-feeling character, and, uh, he's, like, on an expedition. It's gonna be really good. I'm excited for it. But no, like, action, adventure, and fantasy are my favorite genres, so, you know, books that feel like that tend to be my favorite. So, like, as a kid, I liked the Top Cow Tomb Raiders a lot, too. Uh, do you like any villain? I have a lot of favorite villains. Um, I like Poison Ivy. I like the Riddler. Um, I like Scarlet Witch. I like Mystique. I like Mr. Sinister. Um, I'm trying to think of more off the top of my head. The Hellfire Club in general. Um, your favorite character. Favorite character, Marvel, DC, comics in general, superheroes, supervillains. It's kind of tough. I don't really know. Um, haven't read any of the number ones yet. Um, I'm still reading No More Humans. Fair enough. Um, the number ones are pretty good. Uh, if you haven't dove into Hickman's run yet, it is different. 
it's good and it's bad, but know that it's extremely different than what you're expecting it to be as an X-Men book. I feel like you're both Marvel and DC, um, but I've read more DC. I started out reading more DC, um, but they got rid of the few titles I did read in DC, so I read more Marvel now. Because really for a long time I only read X-Men. And the rest was DC, but anymore I'm just exploring more DC, or more Marvel and less DC. Once everything gets fixed, I'll definitely have to check out the new noir. I think it's only on issue one, and it's already out, so you could always buy it on Comixology or something. Um, or see if you can find it on an online store. I'd really like to get a Shi'ar group as well. I'd love to see a Lalandra. Yeah! Because I've been trying to put together a Star Jammers group, but seeing a Shi'ar group would be amazing. I don't think I've ever seen anyone cosplay Lalandra. Um, I myself am hoping to cosplay Hepzibah at some point, so... <laughs> Hello, Mitch. I might actually finish my makeup in one stream, which will be like a Christmas miracle. I never do that. Um, I've been working on a Hellfire Club soldier cosplay. That would be really cool. Um, I take your suggestion and bring it to Dragon Con. Um, yeah, honestly, if you're looking to meet up with X-Men, Dragon Con has such a diverse group of cosplayers. It's absurd. I like pulling out weird stuff. Um, just for Dragon, that's why I'm considering doing Star Jammers, because I feel like anywhere else I would just look like a weird space skunk. <laughs> um, but I feel like people at Dragon would understand. Do you use Comixology? I think I have, like, a couple comics on Comixology, and I use it occasionally, but I prefer physical books. Specifically, um... Specifically, I like uh, trade paperbacks the most. I think Ceremonia Cosplay might have done Hepzibah. I think she has. I, I feel like I've seen that at one point or another. Do you have a Disney Plus uh, app? They have animated series including classic Spider-Man. Yes, I do have the Disney Plus app. I want to watch Spider-Man and his amazing friends. I tried watching Spider-Woman, couldn't get into it. Um, but I also made it through the Silver Surfer show, which was a weird trip to take. Um, also they added X-Men icons, so I'm Jean Grey on there now, and that's all that I want. Uh, I am 5'6", that is how tall I am. Um, uh, I should watch the X-Men stuff on Disney+, Plus. I'm watching Gummy Bears right now. Um, no, the X-Men stuff's really good. Um, a lot of it's honestly just really, really good storytelling. Um, well, I have 26 seconds left. I almost did a full makeup look in a stream for once. Um, I probably won't be back on today, but it was absolutely lovely talking to you guys. So thank you so, so much. And I hope you have a good day. Um, stay safe and stay inside. Bye.